That product was on a shelf eight feet high. Clearly, she is not that tall. She should have asked for assistance. We put it up on that shelf so that our employees could go and lend a hand to our, our customers. And in that very aisle that she's referring to, there's a sign. It's as clear as day. And it reads, if you need any sort of assistance, don't you see what you're looking court. for. Ask for assistance. Ms. Myers, did you see the sign? Your Honor, that is not true. Obviously, he must have just put that sign up yesterday because that sign was not in the store while I was in there. Well, where's the sign? The sign is in every single aisle, and it is obviously, it is so clear. It is bold. That it is, is red, that white, is and blue. That is not true, Your Honor. Well, if she can't find anybody, Ms. Myers says she couldn't find anybody, what's she supposed to do? There's ladders because it's a big box store. We got to go up high to get your items Honor, and may bring I them say down. Something? But that doesn't mean that she should just go up on, your, the, on, the, on the stacks to try and pull something down. If if there was no ladder, would she have just climbed up the shelves? Well, well, there was a ladder, so we don't have Absolutely. to figure that out. But if there's a ladder there, aren't most people going to get up on that ladder and get what they want? No. Absolutely. No. Your Honor. Your Honor, may I speak? Yes, ma'am. May ma I say something? Yes, ma'am. First of all, there are ladders on mostly every aisle in the store. And I'm not the only person that got up on the ladder. People get up on the ladder and get what they need all the time. But if there was an employee there to assist me that particular day, this probably would have never happened. Now, you submitted a recreation that you I did, did absolutely. to this court. Would you go over to the plasma absolutely. screen? Let's see what you recreated. Absolutely. I can show you what happened. And this is not actually me, Your Honor. This is just a recreation. I went and I pulled two bottles. I was trying to reach the two bottles. And all of the bottles came crashing down on me. I fell off the ladder, hit the floor. I broke my left arm, and I severely injured my back. This should have never happened. Ms. Myers, you also submitted a slow motion version. I want you to walk me through that. OK, this is what happened. I walked up to the shelf. I tried to pull two of them down, and everything just came crashing down on me like an avalanche. I fell off the ladder, and I fell on my left arm, breaking my left arm, as well as severely injuring my lower back. All right, ma'am, you can return to the podium. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, Ms. Myers, you had a company assist you with this recreation, right? I did, absolutely. Well, let me tell you this. Whenever you come to court, Bring everything possible that helps you in your case. You get kudos for putting this together because you, now Honor. that lets me know how this happened. Thank you, Your Honor. Here you've put up evidence that they had a ladder out there, they had the product that you needed up top, there were no employees around. You did the best you could because you had some other pressing things. You got up on the ladder and pulled those bottles out. They came down on you and changed your life forever. Absolutely, yeah. You believe it's all their fault because they should not have had those products up that high and should have had somebody to help you. Absolutely. Mr. Peterson, you put on evidence that if she had just waited, someone would have helped her. Frankly, had she read the signs, if you need assistance, ask somebody. This would never have happened. You believe that it's her irresponsibility that caused her injuries and you are not at fault. Yes, Your Honor. These allegations bring to light the concept of comparative negligence. Here, the evidence shows that both of you had some contribution to this outcome. Your folks missed their time because you are bound by your documents. If there are no checks where they should have checked, you're held responsible for that. Frankly, having a ladder out there is a little tricky too because that's gonna entice people to get up on that ladder and get what they want. Ms. Myers, I find that you have proven that Big Paul's is responsible for your injuries. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. But you know, in the evidence, the most impactful piece of evidence today was your video recreation. It told me that you got up on that ladder, like a lot of people would, and you did something that most people would not, and that is pull those bottles from the bottom. Anybody with common sense would know those bottles are coming down. So with that recreation, you have proven that you were 50% responsible for this outcome. What? Under the law, regardless of your injuries, and as much as it is painful to rule against you, 50-50 means the defendant wins. I find for the defendant and against you. That's my verdict, and this matter is adjourned. Well, how is that? Yeah, I